24 hours in a barn with the baby? The flirting went a little too well yesterday. Look at all these eggs. You need to harvest that. That's breakfast. See, that was nearly impossible to do with one hand. Is Kevin a danger to the other animals? <sighs> all right, it's the next day. I didn't have enough time to patch up the back area that Poggers kept getting out at, so he snuck out. And then look what he did. He went over here and he spilled all the freaking dog food. We still have a lot of it and I'm gonna be able to pick it up, but I have to do it with one hand and I'm pissed. And on top of that, Queen knocked her little dish over so I can't just put stuff straight in there. Uh, but the cool thing is Kevin and Karen are enjoying walking around in the barn. They really like it in here. And the turkeys really love the dog food. So they're like eagerly waiting here. But so do the ducks and some of the chickens. Here, this little girl is still incubating her little eggs. Poppy and Vinny are both back here. Look at little Vinny. Vinny's just been kind of hanging out, running around the back of the barn. This is a little safe place for her. Kevin, hello, sir. You're not thinking about biting my hand, are you? Are you, sir? You're thinking about biting this little hand of mine, are you, sir? Look at this beautiful, adorable little man. Now there's a bunch of these little eggs just kind of lying around here because there's not enough nesting spots for these little guys. Wow, look at this. All the animals are in here now. They're just enjoying the time. Tomorrow night, it's going to get really, really cold. I might actually just close them in now. Okay, while well, all these guys are distracted with having their food in here, I'm going to go ahead and close them in. It's going down to 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Look at these little ducks sitting on the new grass. Isn't that precious? Okay, here we go. Very fun. I'm going to go ahead and try and close this. I can't believe I was able to do that with one hand. Thank you, Lord. While well, these boys are eating over here, I'm just going to start trying and close this up. Oh, gosh. No, here they come. Queen. No. Dang it. This is going to be hard. But yeah, guys, next couple nights is going down to 20 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and herd a lot of these guys in here together. I'm going to clean that water out real quick, even though we just did it two days ago. Okay, here we are back at it again. Farming, but better in difficulty. Went ahead and moved this whole little gate panel over here. Now I just need to get little little baby over here and put him inside because I do care about him getting too cold. Well, that was really not easy to do with one hand. Some could say that was nearly impossible to do with one hand, but I did it somehow. I wish I could have filmed it for you guys. Okay, we still have a bunch of stragglers that didn't make it into the barn, but the good thing is there's still all kinds of food and water out here because of what I did two days ago. And if they need to, they can get under shelter here and in that back area, and they can also easily kind of hop through here. Issue is poggers and queen can get under through here, this little hole here, and so can a lot of the other fowl, but that's fine. The main thing is we just don't want the baby uh, to get through here and then the other animals. Like I said, I used to be kind of scared of these guys getting out of here, but at the end of the day, they're totally fine. They like it in here. And if they do get out, look at little angel wing and bing bong, look how precious they are. If they do get out, they're just gonna come right back. A lot of you guys ask me, okay, do they ever fight? Is Kevin a danger to the other animals? How do you let them get along? And what's really funny is uh, they have their own kind of pecking order, even though there's several different species here. Huggers right now knows he did bad whenever he knocked over the huge thing of food, so he's just kind of sitting there. But if these guys come up and try to take Queen's food, because they love Queen's food, give them a bark and a little nip. Watch, she's probably about to do it right now. Watch this. Look at that. See that? Oh, no. So you see, Kevin's eating the stuff that's outside her little trough there. <laughs> See, that's, that's what she does. And that's all she needs to do. She doesn't really do that much with the baby because the baby is just soft and precious. And she thinks that he's like a person. Hey though, now I'm using, oops, sorry, almost shaky there. Now I'm using wire cutters to cut these little fence panels so I can close this door in. It's gonna be real nice. Get ready guys, it's gonna be a nice little wind barrier for them. Oh, and did I mention I've been doing everything with one arm? Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and scare all the fowl into this little middle area. Come on guys, go outside. Come on, yeah, here we go. Look how two of the chickens are just randomly out here. They're having the time of their life though, digging through all that. Look, there's an egg right there. There's literally an egg just sitting right there on the ground. I need to harvest that, that's breakfast. They're definitely not gonna do anything with it. Oh, looks like we had a breakout. No queen, no, come on. Get back in there, queen. I got one of these things out. Doing this with one hand is literally impossible. Come on, queen, queen, come on. Go, go, yep, get back in there. Get back in there, look at that little doofus. Okay, taking these two things out with one hand is probably one of the hardest things I've had to do here on the farm ever, period. And I pulled a lot of all-nighters working on this barn. Okie doke, I just moved this panel into here with one arm. That was exceptionally difficult. Wouldn't you agree to baby? <laughs> now I need to somehow move this thing out and around there so I can close this gate as well. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this, but there's a lot of hay in the way, so I'm gonna have to dig all that out. But also, look at this. Look at all these eggs, you guys. These must have been laid pretty recently. Okay, good news is this is closed. It's gonna make a great wind barrier. The bad news is there's a big enough gap for just about everything to get out through the middle. Oh, I can always just stack that little gate thing up on this side on over here. 
here. The issue is it took me forever to just move it inside. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! All right, everybody's in here. There's a decent bit of ventilation up here. A little bit of ventilation here and there. I can close uh, this door if I need to because it's on this side of the fence. And all the fowl that are outside can finally clean up all this nasty dog food that Pogger spilled this morning. I'm gonna start grabbing these eggs and then I'm gonna kind of search through this pile of trash that we have in the back here. It's all stuff that people have given us or it's just extra things for the farm like feeders. And I'm gonna set them up in a little area where I think Poppy has been hanging out back there. This whole setup is now totally warm. That provides a decent little bit of ventilation, but it's also very, very warm as you can see. Tons of hay for these guys to just kind of burrow in and hang out in whenever it gets really cold. The rhea are all very safe in here on a 20 degree morning, as long as it's not wet, and as long as they don't do anything stupid. So if I'm not in here scaring them around or do anything like that, they're gonna be fine. Okay, that seems to be fine for now. All these little guys can explore. Hopefully they realize that they laid probably about like 20 duck eggs right here. I hope they remember these. Either way though, this is a great little, little setup for them now. So basically I'm gonna move these panels right here around these posts and just kind of have it wrapped through here. So that way we just have this picnic table area that they can't poop on, uh, and then they can all just hang out under the shelter here. If we need to, we can easily just close those doors and get them in there. This barn's real crappy, but we're gonna get our money's worth on it. Okay, somehow I managed to put a zip tie up here. It only took me about five, 10 minutes, uh, but I did it with one hand. I put this zip tie here, so that's gonna keep this panel from falling, but this panel is keeping the animals from just going straight out. Uh, whenever uh, they don't want to be there anymore, namely Poggers and Queen, and maybe the baby. Okay, just move these cinder blocks over here with one hand. <laughs> okay, this is the setup for the next two days. It's gonna go down to 20 degrees all night. Time to plant our commemorative fruit orchard for all the little animals that we've had that have sadly passed away. Name of Nugget, Baby Kevin, and uh, there's definitely one or two others I can think of. But I'd like to get a Garden of Eden feel in the back. Oh, shut up. But I'd like to get a bit of a Garden of Eden feel in the back, so when when you go back there you can pick like one of every tree that exists and we have a lot of space for that and winter is the best time to plant it it's 18 degree windshields right now even though it was 80 degrees earlier today <laughs> that makes sense okay it's 80 degrees everybody's screaming because i well, okay yeah there's a person here okay all right, everybody stop screaming. Okay, they seem to be doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Okay, I went ahead and closed that door too, and I closed these guys up. The geese aren't screaming as much right now. But all right, now the whole place is closed in. This is what it looks like. Pretty dang cool. Pretty dang cool. We got one turkey roosting up there. The rest of these guys are all in here. They got plenty of food and water. But that's it. Looks like Kyle's sleeping over there. Kevin's trying to attack me per usual. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, Mr. Kevin. It's from all of us here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. Happy New Year. We love you. We appreciate you. Oh, oh almost got my finger. Hey, and just because it's the new year and I love you guys, I appreciate you. I'll go ahead and bonk Kevin on the head real gently for you. <sighs> All right, there we go. That's the best I can do with a broken hand. Love you guys, appreciate you. Oh my gosh, wait. Is that Poppy? Is that you, Poppy? I see Poppy back here. Oh, it's Vinny. Actually, you know what? Ooh, Kevin made a little noise just to make sure that everybody is gonna be nice and warm tonight. I'm heading back into this nice little hay park and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some of the, oh, did you see that? Queen did a little jump and I'm gonna cut up some of this hay to make more nesting area here for them. Hey, Kevin, happy new year, sir. Happy new year. <laughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. No, no, back up. Yeah, I'm just gonna take these clippers and then cut up a bunch of this hay, fluff this place up a little bit, and then I'll head out. All right, y'all, I just tossed up three more bales so you can see from all the hay dust that's floating around. Looks like the baby's gonna have plenty of nice hay to sleep in tonight. The dogs are gonna be fine and dandy tonight. The baby's gonna be wrestling with Queen until he gets tired and warm. And with these guys hugging each other like this and being all cute with each other, there's no reason why they should get too cold tonight. Karen, Kevin, and Kyle are baby birds. They're gonna stay nice and warm tonight. I opened up this little area for these little guys, Darcidius, and then Remington and Benelli are right here. I put a ton of hay down in this little area here. I do have this heat lamp, but it's not working, which stinks, but we don't really need it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have to cover this up with some kind of, with the metal or something, just go ahead and screw the metal into the top there because the wind actually comes in through here pretty bad. Now, it's good to have a little bit of ventilation and it's nice to be able to have a little bit of breeze coming in here especially in the summer 
But for right now, I'm probably going to need to cover that first thing tomorrow morning. And that'll be the video for tomorrow. But for now, all these guys are going to be wrestling and having fun. Good night, everybody. Thanks so much for watching my videos. We love you. We appreciate you. Oh, and who knows? Maybe tomorrow night I'll camp out here in the barn for one of them viral videos. 24 hours in a barn with the baby? 24 hours with the based and Second Amendment pilled the baby? Look at this beautiful little baby boy. Look at him wrestling with Queen, trying to square up with us. Look at this. Look at this old man. Look at this adorable little man. Oh, wow. Oh, don't mind if I do. The flirting went a little too well yesterday. <laughs> well, time to check on the animals. Looks like the gate didn't make it last night. Oh, a little bit of ice in there. A little ice. Okay, time to do a voiceover because the geese are way too loud. Every day when I walk into this place for the first time, the geese see me as a new threat and they like to scream nonstop. It's just how they do. Okay, looks like all the animals made it. They're all alive. I didn't even need to use the propane heater. Baby was probably sleeping on top of those hay bales. They like to sleep up on something. It looks like we all made it. So these guys can handle 10 degree windshields, uh, at least in this barn. Uh, and they still get a little bit of ventilation there and there, which is perfect. Doesn't look like the water froze at all in here. Although I'm still gonna need to change it because it's starting to get a little brown. I saw all your guys' comments about putting a filtration system in there. I think that's an amazing idea, and we might just do that. Guys, everybody's doing really well. Tonight, it's going to be even colder. It's probably going to go down to a windshield of uh, 8 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. So I'm going to be coming out here and spending time with them tonight, and I might even sleep with them. That's it, though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Appreciate you. And oh, I almost forgot to take. Ah!